Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Moto. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Uh, today we've got a very special treat for you. Uh, today we're going to be demonstrating one of the most luxurious motorhomes in the world. Uh, today's model is a Kaitago Chic C-Line i6.2 XLQB. Now this is on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Uh, it's got a two litre, 170 brake horsepower engine, a nine speed fully automatic gearbox. There's lots and lots I'm gonna show you on this particular model. Uh, we'll start off on the outside working our way around and I'll show you all the storage externally. Then we'll go inside, have a good look at the layout. And then of course, at the end, I'll tell you my favorite thing about this moto. Let's go. Look at the size of the grill on the front of this. How mean does that look? Um, obviously Mercedes badge on the front there just to let everybody know you're coming. Cathago graphics on the top. Daytime running lights, fog lights. It's in this beautiful silver color with black alloy wheels which really finish it off nicely. The dimensions of this vehicle is around 8.8 .8 meters in length and around 2.2 .2 meters in width. This is the passenger door, so you open this up, out comes the step, close it up, and in it pops. Class. Beautiful looking vehicle with lots and lots and lots of storage. All under floor storage, so if we look inside here, that goes all the way through and out the other side, and you can actually gain access to that from inside, which I'll show you later on. Two big gas bottles can be stored in here. I believe it's two 11 kilogram bottles, so you're never gonna go short of gas. And look at the alloys on this. Let me just take a step back so you can see the size of this vehicle. Fantastic. At the back here, we've got a huge garage. This is checker plated, so you're never gonna damage the floor in here. You've got tie down points in here at the moment. The carpets are all wrapped up nicely. This is obviously a brand new 2023 model. Look at that. It's even got Cathago written on the side there, on the back. Got these little elastic straps to keep things secured. You've got two three pin plug points in there as well. Moving round to the back. Beautiful Cathago emblem at the top there. Chic C line with that big Mercedes badge. And check these lights out, they're, they're in the shape of a C for Catago, so fantastic. People will really see you coming in this one, it's amazing. Um, you've got little compartments to keep things in here, and this is obviously the other side to the garage door, I'll give you the dimensions of that in a second. Moving along, again we've got these double axle wheels on the back. This is where the toilet cassette lives. So toilet cassette can just easily be pulled out of there and it has got a SOG system so it will suck any unwanted smells out of the toilet through a chimney in the roof. This particular model's got a wet heating system, an Audi heating system, so a new system uh, for 23 on this one actually. And check out underneath here, this is the opposite side so you can see all the way through and out so you can keep skis in there, whatever you might need. Just up on the left there, this is an external barbecue point, so you can plug in a gas barbecue outside. Electric step just down the bottom there, and a really nice wide habitation door. Central locking on that door, just above that, look at this, huge canopy with a lovely LED strip light all the way along it. I'm not sure if you can see via the video how gorgeous this van is, but trust me, I'm very privileged today to be able to show you this. Um, but the thing I'm most excited about is actually going inside. So let's go in and have a proper look. In the cab now, let's have a look at this. Both seats do swivel around, but I've swiveled this round just to show you. Uh, this is macchiato leather, looks amazing, easy to keep clean. And obviously Mercedes steering wheel with a multi-function uh, on that. So you can control pretty much everything via the steering wheel your stereo, you can answer telephone calls, you've got cruise control. Just to the right of that, you've got an LCD screen, which is for your reversing camera on the back. And then in the center here, we've got the MBUX Mercedes satellite navigation and DAB radio. And that is amazing. It looks really modern and sleek. Um, cup holders all up on the top here. 
so you're never going to struggle with space and one thing i like actually is you get all this storage down by the driver's seat look at this and the feel of this is amazing i wish you could feel the quality of this vehicle around the sides we've got um we've got uh, privacy blinds all the way around so they go all the way around the front there and also above that you've got lots of cupboard space as well so let's have a little look in some of these cupboards so really nice the quality of this wood's amazing this motorhome will sleep up to four people the diner area will convert into a double bed and then at the back we've got a huge queen bed which is an island bed which i'll show you very shortly now moving back from the cab let's have a look so this is the dining area uh, this table is a 360 table so it can be moved around and it can also go backwards and forwards so you can pretty much adjust that to where you want it to be obviously everybody can all be sat around this table relaxing on this gorgeous leather you have got two forward facing seat belts here as well so if you want to take people with you with belts you can and this little area here does move out the way so somebody can quite comfortably sit there the way this works is the table drops down so it's a telescopic table and then this whole area will go into a double bed so if you've got guests who want to stay over that's perfect again more storage all the way around both on the left side and the right side and check this out look at the size of this television um, there's a little button just underneath here press that there we go and the tv will go down press it up and obviously it will come up so that drops down right into the sofa uh, to tuck that away from anybody's view when it's not in use the lighting in this vehicle is amazing uh, you can adjust it so you can turn it up and down to really suit the mood and it's fantastic i mean there's led lights everywhere which are really good actually for saving uh, power this particular one's got an extra skylight just up at the top here and another one up here both of these have got fly screens on and they can both be opened just to my right this big habitation doors here uh, again you've got blackout blinds on this or uh, privacy screens on this um, and like i say this has got central locking on it this is all the controls for your electric step you've got a three pin plug and you can adjust all the lighting here um, as i mentioned set the mood it's got an onboard inverter so that means that if you need to use a hairdryer or something like that and you're not plugged in on a campsite then you can you can use those three pin plugs and it's got the audi system in this so it's a wet heating system so it's not blown air it's not going to get dry in here it's going to be a lot like your radiator system at home this is the control panel where you can see the levels of the battery your water you can turn the lights on and off the pump and so on so forth and um, but what an amazing place to be on the ground let's have a look so press these little buttons here one two you can lift that up and you've got lots of storage under there look so basically you don't have to go outside get wet if you want to bring things in so let's just pop that back down moving up to the left let's have a look around this way so this is your kitchen area this particular model has got the big oven fitted to it so it's an oven grill it's got three gas burners and also you've got plenty let's have a look plenty of room for your cutlery You've got more drawers underneath here and they're really big drawers they're soft clothes as well by the way and then a huge one in there just next to the oven big one in here as well and also it comes with your own little bins so that's very very clever and um, one thing about katago is they're very very well built they're very well designed and they're very 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 well thought out um, this is where you keep your wine bottles or bottles of drink um, and then moving up let's have a look so turn your lights on and off here this you can put your spices and things on there as well and then up on the top a huge cupboard space nice little coffee machine in here so you can have yourself a nice macchiato on your travels and look at this comes with its own katago glasses look at that it looks beautiful with the light on it right so moving round on the left here this is the fridge freezer so a really nice size fridge freezer 
so you could do your weekly shop get everything in there and then set off on your travels and then just on the top you've got a freezer beneath that a bit more storage and then have a look at this look at this one this is gorgeous look at that you can keep all your spices your beans your soup everything all tucked away nicely in there um, which i think looks amazing again going down to the floor let's have a look so this here let's pop this open again more storage moving down the floor a bit more let's have a look in this one storage going down again let's have a look in this one uh, this is access to your tanks so you've got access to the fresh and wastewater tanks underneath here as well so if you wanted to clean those out then you can do no problem at all so looking back into the cab area from the toilet shower area so on the left hand side we've got the shower and that's a nice separate cubicle actually and there's plenty of space in there then if you want what you can do let me have a look see if we can do this one second you can close this off completely so that closes the toilet and shower room off and the bedroom off actually and then to your right hand side we've got the toilet so separate toilet ceramic um, basin electric flush space for your toilet roll and you've even got a towel rail here obviously a heated towel rail so very much like your radiator system at home um, you can hang your dressing gowns and things like that in there as well right so turning around to the left this is where you would keep all of your belongings so your shower gels and things like that in there and the quality is oh, so nice in there honestly um, really nice led lights so you feel like a movie star every morning just beneath here we've got the wash basin little cup holders for toothbrushes soap dispenser really nice tap and a towel rail just at the top there um, just here as well more light switches so again you can control the lights here and then turning around look at this the main event look at that that is a huge queen bed and it's an island bed so you can easily get around each side you're not going to have to hop over each other at night if you need to go to the toilet underneath that you've got plenty of storage let's see if we can open this at the moment it's got its covers in there obviously this is brand new but there's plenty of space in there again a big drawer here and then to the other side let's see if we can open this one there we go bit of wardrobe space in there and then again more in here as well right so at the back of the vehicle just on the left hand side You've got a nice size wardrobe for hanging clothes. Hop up onto the bed. Light switches underneath there. USB point and a three pin plug on the left and a USB on the right. And they've made these nice little cubby holes to keep your mobile phones and things. So when they're charging at night, they can just go up there. Storage up the top for your t-shirts and things. Again, more storage. And then on the other side, let me hop over the bed. On the other side, again, we've got a big wardrobe in here as well. Right, turning around. If you want to close off the bedroom, you can pull this, shut that across, pull this one, shut that across. And then look at this. You've got a TV on the wall so you can lie in bed watching television. When it comes to motorhomes, this is the pinnacle. This is the top of the pops. This is what everybody aspires to have. The quality is second to none. The design is amazing. More wardrobe hanging space here. More wardrobe hanging space in there. And I mean, what do you think? What do you think? I mean, I feel totally privileged to be able to walk in this vehicle. So if you were to able, if you were able to own this vehicle, I mean, imagine traveling in this, going away three, six months at a time, off to Italy, off to Spain. God, it's amazing. And then guys, what do you think? I want to see your comments below. I want to know exactly what you think about this motorhome, the design, how luxurious it is. I mean, what do you buy? Do you buy yourself 
a new SUV or do you buy yourself a new Cathago? One of the most amazing motorhomes in the world, very high quality and trust me I've driven these. They're almost silent as you drive, it's, oh, it's amazing. Um, there's lots, lots more on this vehicle that I could have gone through. Uh, there's lot, loads more technical details that we could have spoken about, um, but I've kept this very brief. I just wanted to show you around. I mean, I'm very privileged. I've gotten to be in this vehicle today, and I hope you've got a good insight into it. Um, if you like the videos, do put a thumbs up. And of course, if you would like to see more vehicles like this, or if you'd like to have a look more on my channel, then do subscribe to it press the little bell icon and you'll get notifications as and when I put new videos on. But there's lots, lots more uh, videos on there that you can already have a look at. Um, the model today we've been looking at is a Chic C-Line i6.2 XL QB on a Mercedes Sprinter. Amazing. See you soon.